Hey pup. What you doing? So the number of dead meters in the pile here has not really increased. We're actually starting to find a few that are passing my test. If you're a manufacturer and you're making these meters and you're marking them as Cat 3 600 and you can't pass this first test, yeah, <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty bad. This is uh, the next one we're going to test is this X Tech. Uh, this is a MN10. Not a bad little meter. I actually use an X Tech for uh, work. It's nice. It's small. Hey, it comes with the battery in it. Yeah. You know, uh, before I. Uh, test this thing out I was looking in the box here and uh, see this little adapter that allows you to use a standard uh, K thermal couple I'm looking at buying a an actual high-end meter and I notice uh, Fluke and Agilent or Fluke and Keysight do not ship those meters with this adapter I mean that's that's pretty bad so uh, yeah <laughs> the only thing I noticed is uh, tough tools well, we're going to find out how tough this thing is. The only thing you notice with this meter... Hey, it's going to be a shame to blow this up. <laughs> I like this thing. <laughs> okay, so I've gone ahead and I've uh, functionally tested this thing. Works uh, really well, actually. Yeah, it's a. Uh, this is my favorite meter out of all of them so far. So we'll go ahead and uh, hit it. Let's just see what she does. Okay, that's negative, positive transients, all terminals. We'll go ahead and functional test it and see if it still works. Okay, looks like the x -Tech passes. What I would consider higher quality meters, it looks like we're starting to pass a few more. So that's a good thing. <laughs> 